guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I'm back again with another Face Mask Friday video. <laughs> um, today we have yet another parcel. This one is unlabeled, so you cannot tell. <laughs> I obviously know what is in here. Um, and probably by the title of the video, you will know also, but yes, I am super excited to unbox this. Um, essentially, this is from Morphe. Bit of a giveaway there, but it is the James Charles palette. So we'll be doing similar to what we did last week with the unboxing and just doing a few little swatches of the colorings just to get a bit of an idea on what it offers. Um, I know this palette has been out for a little while now. I'm a little bit late to the game, but better late than never. <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump straight in here and just start you know, cutting into it here. Faces are everything. Okay. So, I can already see it. Of course, it's protected with this lovely, like, bubble wrap crap. Um, paperwork to say I bought it. And, oh, here it is. So, this, it's here. The James Charles palette. So it says here, hi sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my palette. I love glam, but I also have a huge passion for crazy, colorful, outside of the box makeup. And I created this palette with that in mind. I included every beautiful, beautifully former, ugh. I included every beautifully formulated shade necessary to create literally any look you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. Boom! So, I mean, James Charles is absolutely stunning and an amazing makeup artist. Um, so I've just got to open this bad boy up and let's, you know, take a look at what we've got here. So it's just, oh my god, nice plain black. So it has got like the magnetic kind of seal on it, which is nice because it keeps it in there. And here we go. Oh, look at those colours. I think everyone's fat like favourite on here is uh, Skip because it is so pigmented. And these are actually pressed pigments. I think a lot of them are anyway. Um, so it has all the, the names on this like sheet as well, which protects it as well as, you know, gives them the names. Um, but yeah, we have the colors, look at them. They look stunning. You've got all like the different colors of the rainbow, some like the bigger shades, I feel like they're more like the kind of transitional um, kind of shades that help you like build up a look. Um, it's so like the white and the black is good for like creating definition and just really adding that little bit of a boom and a pop. Um, and just using this to create your own little unique blends and mixes. So they look stunning. Um, <laughs> now Morphe palettes are really good as well. I have got a couple of their palettes um, in my collection. I've got so many makeup, um, well, eyeshadow palettes now. I've really like up to the game with these. So having this as part of my little collection is really nice. Um, and I also just noticed as well, it does say up here, unleash your inner artist. I don't know if you can see that, which is a nice little added touch. 
But yeah, so these are the colours, just like, I'm gonna let you just take it in because honestly, I'm still taking it all in. There's so many. So I think what we're gonna do then is just do a little bit of a swatch um, and then possibly in like a later video, if you would like it, um, I will definitely try and incorporate these gorgeous shades into some fabulous eye makeup and all that. <laughs> right, so I think we should try and swatch some of these colours. Um, <clears throat> I will be doing it on this little arm here. So... I'm gonna have to like use this to guide me as well. So I think, of course, classic. We've got to start with Skip. Um, all these colours just feel so smooth and so like silky, living. Oh yes, look at that. It's so like vibrant and just bold with one small little swipe. I think that's gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> So this may take me a little while because I'm going to have to like work out basically what like, the shades names are. Um, I kind of want to try this Love That. It's like a reddish, um, purpley, it's like a berry colour. It looks very nice and deep. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is pretty. <laughs> Living for that. Um, this shade is um, a cappella. So this is like a blue metallic looking shade. Which again, just, oh, they feel so soft and silky. I'm living. They look stunning. Oh my god. Um, I think we should really go for a bit of a green. Uh, this one is Social Blade. So this is more like a lime electric green. Boom. Gorgeous. You can see like blending that with a yellow would look absolutely stunning. Speaking of yellow, <laughs> let's jump into the yellow now. Um, so this is actually called B, as in like a bumblebee. Which is very fitting and again that is just like such a strong you know obviously like some of these shades will not show on camera as like as powerful I guess but like honestly like yellows never look that but this is like kapow <laughs> living for that um, shades do we want to look at uh what one is that one you're kidding uh so this is a kind of like red like a, i was gonna say ruby red i guess yeah you can see that that is like you can literally create a rainbow on my arm right now i'm living that is a gorgeous gorgeous red so stunning um, gotta try out sis. Now sis is an orange. <laughs> I don't know where this accent is coming from. It's just because it said sis. Oh, that is so pretty. Like, I don't usually go for like really bold, colourful makeup looks. I'm more, if I go out, I'm going to do like a really like nude illusion kind of makeup look. But... Honestly, just looking at these, I'm like, I, I really want to now, like, just go bloody, like, batshit crazy, basically. Um, absolutely gorgeous, that one. Uh, let's try this gold shade. It looks pretty. It's called Wig. Oh, go wig or go home, girl. So, we're going to just put that, like, right along here. Oh my god, that is so pretty, what the hell, how is this so pretty, 
<laughs> oh, it's so shiny and pigmented. And you can like tightly, like they're so easy to blend, like look at that. I know it just looks like I've smudged it, but like, they're so creamy that you can just blend and buff those colors in and just make it a lot softer, which I live, live for. Just because I'm feeling extra, I want to um, go for this color, which is called Spooky. It's pitch black. Um, <laughs> I just want to see. Oh, oh, that is nice. So it's very like, it comes off very charcoal y, but it is black. And you can totally build that into like as deep of a black as you need. But I think this is like going to be a really nice shade just to like, again, work in with like different colours and just smoke out a look and make it like more. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall thoughts. <clears throat> Some bloody amazing shades in there. I cannot, 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 cannot wait to really delve into this and create some gorgeous looks because I feel like my eyeshadow game is in need of some improvement so hopefully this helps um, and I need to like look online to get some inspo so if you have seen people using this palette and just creating some really like fun looks let me know because I may try and recreate them or if you yourself have like got this palette and you've made a really awesome look send it through to me and I will happily try and recreate it though I know I am not the best at eyeshadows as of yet it's a work in progress we're getting there <laughs> definitely learning you know the ropes on how to like make it look good <laughs> So yeah, no, honestly this palette, I'm putting the cover back on just because, um, this palette is like fabulous. It retails for £39, which is a little bit much, um, I have to say, because like the normal Morphe palettes are like, what, 23-ish, roughly like around that area, like the 20 region, but this is closer to 40. So it is like a jump up from the normal Morphe palettes, but I do know that there's a lot of love and attention that's gone into this. So yeah, it is like filled with amazing colors, some awesome eyeshadows and some really cool pressed pigments as well, which are just gonna like really boost everything and make everything just look fly guard. Oh. Yes, so that is the James Charles Morphe palette. Um, if you did enjoy this video and this unboxing slash swatch video, then of course, as always, let me know down below. And if there's anything else similar to these that you'd like me to give a try, have a swatch of, um, or anything like that, then let me know down below as well so that I can try and get some of these different palettes. Um, and anyway you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see each and every one of you guys in the next video peace out sisters <laughs>